in this video I'm going to show you how to write a program using the idle editor how to save it how to run it how to test it and how to upload it to the assignments folder for your first assignment so I hope you have watched the first two videos where you install Python and where you have been able to uh, write some commands in the shell now we are going to actually be able to write some of these commands and save the program and run it and test it. So if you're looking at your um, PDF file that I've used for reference, we are looking at section 1.9.3 that talks about the classic first program and how to write this program. So I'm going to start by bringing up my idle interpreter, which we do right here. And so there is the shell that opened up last time. Here is where we wrote some commands. For example, print, and you say hello, will print hello, like that. You now, if we were to put all this in an editor and save it and want to, you know, submit it or do something with it, how do we do that? So we go to file, and you say new file and that brings up another window which is our editor where we can actually type some um, multiple lines on of program and save it so we are going to start out by doing the same thing that we did in our shell so let's have a print statement and like it says the classic first program hello world within quotes within double quotes and you close the parentheses and that's it that's what we have been um, doing the shell before you can add a few exclamations now we want to save this file you go file save and make sure you know where you're saving it create a folder for your Python assignments I'm going to put it under documents I have PCC I have CS160 and I have Python assignments and I'm going to call it sample a01 and it automatically puts in the extension and you hit save and there is um, the file is saved now how do we test it so you go to run and you go to check module which will help you check to see if there are any errors and if you don't see any pop-ups or anything that comes up then all is well then you go to run and you run module and notice on the left hand side it gives you the output of your program now let's add a few comments to this program say what it does when it was written things like that so if you do three single quote that says this is the start of the comment and you can say this program was written by and you can have your name and let's say um, it prints some text to the user which is what it does and some text to the user and you can say date created when it was written perhaps today's date and to close your comments you put three single quote again and that will close it so multiple lines of comment starts with three single quote and ends with the same three single quote and then whatever comes after that is all um, program so let's write a few more print statements now that we know how to write one print statement let's say hello and why don't we do a brief introduction of um, you or me or whoever is writing the program so my name is such and such and on the next line print I teach computer science in PCC Sylvania and whatever else you might want to say a brief introduction about yourself I have been teaching for the past 11 years and you can say something about your hobby if you have any hobbies or whatever you want to put in and I love Oregon and whatever else you want to say there as a brief introduction about yourself and let's see how that looks okay so let's save it 
and let's run it and there we go and we have noticed when we write four separate print statements they all come up on separate lines so these are all strings and that's what we are essentially printing is strings so as we go through this term we'll learn more about different data types different numbers um, and strings that we can print different things that we can do with strings and so on and so forth now how do we write a single line of comment so let's write a hash sign followed by um, whatever you want to say print text to the user and so whatever comes after that that's what we're doing we print text to the user now it would also be nice to say ask the user well my name is such and such what is your name so let's say print let's say what is yours and close and save this and run it and see what it does so it says what is yours after it says hello my name is such and such what is yours and it doesn't really wait for the user it would be nice if it could wait and ask the user to enter their name so how do we do that so come here to our program again after asking the question let's type in a new statement and we'll put a comment for that input statement to read name from the user so it's a single line comment that's what we have done there and how do we read the name from the user and where do we store it so this is a very simple example about variables and reading from the user so we're going to do two things at the same time one is we are not only going to read from the user but we're going to store the name in some kind of a variable so let's call it name is the name of our variable equals input and here is where i want to say yours so I'll we'll get rid of this print statement and when we say input what is yours it's going to ask what is yours and it's going to wait for it to read the name from the user and it's going to put it into this variable name so let's see if we can do that file save it and then we go run and let's do check module and I don't see any problems so let's run it and notice it says my name is guy 3 ir and what is yours and it waits there for the user to type in their name so let's type in my name again and then it goes on to say the rest of it so a couple of problems I notice here is when it says what is yours and it gives a name it would be nice to actually use that name somewhere notice we are not interacting with the user we just read the name and we really didn't use it and I also I noticed there is no space or anything here when it asks you when it prompts you what is yours it would be it would be nice to have some spacing or a new line or something that asks that that gets the input from the user on a different line or maybe give it some spacing or something like that so you can do this and put in some space on that line and let's use the name here so let's come in here to this print statement and how do we use that name so we are going to say hello and I want to insert that name there so notice what I'm doing we do hello within quotes then you put a comma outside then the name which is the name of the variable goes there and then I put my quote back for whatever I want to say so notice now we have three different tokens in there one is the string hello and a comma to separate that from my variable which is going to print whatever is stored in name and then the rest of my statement here again we need to probably put um, some kind of an exclamation here after the output name and a couple of spaces so it comes out nicely formatted so let's test this and see what we get so it says my name is such and such what is yours and so let's type in your name or whatever name we want to put in there and notice how it says here hello and your name comes out 
the name that we type in and it says I teach such and such I've been doing this and and whatever else we want to say okay so this is our first program where we have some print statements and we also see briefly how to read from the user using the input statement and how to store it into a variable called name in this case um, and you could test out expand this program to do a few other input if you want to but your goal for assignment one should be to copy this program and change the name here to your name in the comment and in some of these sections you can change this text to say something about yourself and to save it and to test it one last time make sure everything is working well without any issues and then we are going to now upload this in D2L so you will go to your course so your course home looks like this you go to your course home and you go to the assignment section which is right here and you go to assignment number one and you go down and you say add a file and you go to my computer and you go and find go to upload and you go and find your file there is my sample a01 dot py and you say add and once you have added you can add any comments you can record audio comments if you want to or a video if you're having any issues with any um, syntax or video or any editor problems whatever it is or if all went well then you can hit submit and it should submit your file and you should see a message that says file submission successful then you know your assignment has been submitted and you should get an email that says that your assignment was submitted so that's how you do your assignment number one and how you write a simple program in Python and test it